I really loved Call because he it was a perfect segue to what we're talking about here. So this is from our good buddy, old pal, David Newton. He says the Panthers are currently about $9.56 million in the red and cap space, even with the new extended salary cap. They also have a little over $10 million left over from the 2022 cap. That will help. Reworking the contract of linebacker Shaq Shaq Thompson should be a priority. He says this is good news as Carolina has most of the key players under contract for 2023. Big exception is quarterback. That's another quarterback in the first round and sign a vet at a bargain. Now, he's talking about, and I love what the caller said, that even if you have a really good defense, a really good offense, the San Francisco 49ers are never around a quarterback. Because every time they do, they either get hurt or they're trading for one or they're bringing I think that's in a little unfair to look at the injury. Round pick. I mean, listen, all the, the only point that I'm making is I'm bolstering the caller's point that traditionally – you make sure that you have a quarterback and you're able to build that team around them and based around what their strengths are. And I think that's a great point. Do you believe that quarterback to be the Panthers are in a position this year to start to do that, to build around their specific quarterback of choosing? I don't like the San Francisco analogy for a couple of reasons though, Cody. Agreed. One is this is a, uh, their team a is like around outside the quarterback position is like so far head and shoulders above the Carolina Panthers in every dimension. But the other thing is, is that I think if anybody realized that the, the San Francisco 49ers need to realize that they've done every single thing you could possibly try to do to get the quarterback situation, right. And the time they got it right was when the last pick in the draft <laughs> kind of stepped into the place. You know what I'm saying? they, they tried to get Tom Brady at one point. They brought back. They had the whole fucking crazy thing with uh, Garoppolo. They traded up to get. They did all the things that everybody is telling us you have to do to win. What I think they have showed you is that they recognize without a quarterback, you can't. They, I mean, think about it. They were <clears throat> arguably going to be. They could have made the Super Bowl with the last pick in the draft. They had the, such a good team that they almost – they were competitive with Christian McCaffrey as their quarterback. It was like 7-7 at the end of the first quarter. Of first, I mean, it was not like – I mean, it, it was clear that the Eagles were so much of a better team at that moment. But if Brock Purdy stays in there, I don't think it's like, oh, such a blowout. I think the Eagles still win. But you got to think that is like even they realize without a quarterback, you toast the best. I mean, they know it. That's the point. If you don't have a quarterback, you're dead on you arrival. Toast. And and I believe a lot of what Frank Reich said in his press conference today kind of confirmed that notion. Um, hey, so I what wanted do you do? To, uh, well, OK, so let's let's get into that. What do you is do? That, right. Yeah. So let's look at the options that we have available. And right now, let's just look at some trends, shall we? Frank Reich, if you look at all the quarterbacks that he has coached, there's something in common with all of them. He likes the big boys, six foot four and above. In fact, he hasn't coached a quarterback that has been shorter than six foot four. Now, that doesn't this necessarily matter. Never. This but is the dumbest I, thing. No, I think what it why do you always gotta do before I'm even done? Look, go ahead, go ahead. he has a a type. He has a type. He likes, you know, if you I mean not every guy on this list fits the criteria, but the big strong mobile quarterback tends to be something that he does well with. Specifically, this is corollary. This is just corollary evidence. Uh uh Carson Wentz for a time was also very mobile. And I mean, look, th thinking about this, it's easy to see why if he were drafting a quarterback, why he might want somebody like an Anthony Richardson or like a Will Levis, 
someone who has a lot of tremendous upside and fitted to be able to tap into. I, I really do think that's going to be important for them going forward. Now, this is kind of oh, yeah. topic. Move on. Move on. Because you just no. put up a bunch of corollary evidence that has nothing to do with anything. Is that he didn't have to he didn't have any choice. Go back to that list. The only one player that he brought in, arguably, is Carson Wentz. He didn't have right. nothing to do Andrew with Luck. Andrew Luck. He didn't have nothing to do with Bruce. He didn't have nothing to do he with the selecting of these the people. Cult. Because it chose to go to the Colts because of Andrew Luck. So then, he brings and remember, in, he, had, he, br- he, had, he had Carson Wentz. Yeah, no Peyton Manning. That. When did he have Peyton Manning? He didn't have Peyton Manning. Yeah, that ain't right. Or, well, he no, no, he did when he was on. Like, he was in Indianapolis before, like, uh, he got let go the year that they, um, that yeah, he they wasn't went. the coordinator. Yeah, they sucked for luck. Okay. Yeah, but okay. he was he wasn't like an. I just yeah. think this is like you might be right that he likes guys that are big, but this is not. This is just fodder. This is corollary evidence. Go to the next one because I'm not wooed by this. I mean, what do it's something he didn't have anything it, to do with it, picking it, any of these motherfuckers, man, except for course well, of I, I mean, it, again, he chose to go to the Colts. Because of Andrew, yeah, he, chose, he was their second choice, bro. The Remember, if you have they, he was he like got that job. He didn't Luck. choose to You're go. He didn't have no other day. Yo, crazy! You crazy. Whatever. Your he revisionist went, history. He, no, he no. Remember, Carson they hired Wentz. McDaniel's. He they hired Carson McDaniel's, Wentz. and he right. went playing his best football ever. Big, big arm and mobile. And that's who he had most of his success with. And he left then for he a head coaching job. Andrew what an Luck. idiot. Then Andrew Luck does all those things that I just mentioned. So, yeah, you do have to right. have to mention Go that. To the next slide. All Tell us the now. guys that he had brought in. No, I'm not going to the next fucking slide because I'm right and you're wrong. Then he brings in Matt Ryan, also a six foot four. By the way, coach Nick Foles in the Super Bowl, six foot six. Yeah, size does. Now, whether or not we go with the big quarterback, who knows? But I mean, hey, I'm noticing a trend here. It's it well, this is my guy. To- I've been telling you. Well, people are down on him. So this is the rumor like mill him. right now from Tony Pauline says he hasn't hey, spoken to anyone who believes Will Levis is a good quarterback. Athlete, God. yeah. Big arm That's a thrower. fucking mean thing to say. Now, <laughs> bullshit. You know what? Fuck this dude. Come on. They, like he has. He can't even. He can't even talk to his mom. Dude, almost That's a everyone mean believed ass that. Thing. Like, this, but this is true though. Everyone thought that he needed to go to the Senior Bowl to continue to prove himself. And, and they said and no one thinks he's good. Dude, That's that mean, point, bro. I just I just fall back on this argument once again. The yeah. same thing with the senior Asshole. bowl and, and with the, the combine. Is that one more time seeing them really gonna make or break your decision? Like does Who the body of work the... they put together mean nothing? Yeah. Like Who is Tony tell you how it, did. it did it, it did it for Justin Herbert, it did it for Jalen Hurts, it did it for Josh Allen. Yeah, it, it boosted their it for... morale. But 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 they, oh. but they were but they were gonna be the same, they were gonna be the same player. Yeah. Whether they went to the senior bowl Tell or they him. went to the combine, they were going to be the same Greg. player. And 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 seeing them do the underwear Olympics one time or play a few more plays in one game was not going to convince you whether they were better or worse. And if that convinced you, you're a bad judgment of character. Well, if a whole body, if if a whole if, body if, of work is there and one game film, changes your opinion, that's a bad judgment. If your college film says that there are things that you have a hard time doing from a from a X's and O's standpoint, and mm-hmm. then you go to Mobile with professional coaches Mm -hmm. who then put you under center. They put you under situations that you're going to be in, in the NFL. And if you thrive, if you thrive under those scenarios, a lot of players have never been under center. They're going to be under center at the senior bowl. That's a big deal when it comes to college quarterbacks. It shows, it, it, it shows talent. If, yeah. That you have the ability to pick up new things fairly quickly, and you show how you relate to other teammates, the competitors around you, how you interview with all the coaches that are there. It matters, and I guarantee you, people are starting to doubt 
Will Levis because of his inability to want to go and prove himself. What if he's hurt? Yeah. I mean, there's... it doesn't help the doubts. <laughs> well, no, but he's like still... you give, you guys give it. There's going to be not you guys. There's going to be a million people up here telling us how Hendon Hooker is a great pick, but he's rehabbing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like at the end of the day is that he, this is a weird post. If you think about it, mm -hmm. It's like, look, no one believes he's a good quarterback. So he is like worse than Taysom Hill from this post as a prospect. And then the next thing is, it's like, oh, big arm thrower. Yeah. But if he was any good, he would fucking play this one game. Right. Exactly. I mean, it's well, kind of, this is kind of a yeah. salacious post. Well, the uh, the part of it that, that I think is, is kind of lost in this is how, so for instance, Will Levis. Uh, or let me let me well, go back to, to um to Trevor Lawrence, right? Ooh. He had proved himself enough to where he didn't even have to basically go to the combine. He didn't right. have to do anything because he knew he was going to be drafted number one overall anyway. Now, how many of these guys, if they don't go and prove themselves at the combine, it, see if you're if you're drafted in the first round because you're considered that, that high of a prospect, the noise starts to get really loud for you to be the starter on a team. Whereas if you're drafted in the third, fourth round, like say Matt Corral, for instance, the, the, the noise starts to be, you know, he was the third round quarterback. He's never really going to deserve a shot at starting in the NFL. Right. So, and a lot of these guys earn that first round draft pick earn that, or they slide because of, of their inability to perform. And so if you, if you trust in your ability, um, if you haven't shown enough on paper to say that you're a first round draft pick, you absolutely need to go to the combine. You need to go to these other uh, to the to the senior bowl to be able to show what right. you're capable of doing. Now, the what other if part he's of this, a second round pick, though, that doesn't mean he, he's still not a good quarterback. It, it Jalen Hurts not get his, He might not get the same opportunity to be an actual starter in this league, though. True, that's the true. thing. Right? Is, is how many how many quarterbacks? Like I can tell you, it, my own opinion about quarterbacks is there are probably so many quarterbacks that are seen as busts that were just never given an opportunity because they weren't considered a high quality draft pick. Like right? who? Um, you know, I, I, that's think, the about, thing. It. That's think the problem. about it. No, think about that's it. The, no, I don't want to over put you on the spot, but I don't want you also to say that and just be able to get away with it. No, I'm, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't have an opinion, that but like somebody who in is mind, that what I'm person? Is how many, let, let's talk about Brock Purdy. He would never have gotten the shot that he did if somebody didn't get hurt. He but went he to a team as a third-string quarterback. <laughs> like, you say? I mean, the, the 49ers are already <laughs> in thoughts about this. Is like, thank you for your service, Brock, Brock Purdy, but they're not necessarily going into the next year as him you saying. Know. Like, he was a pleasant surprise, sure. but right now after that injury, he uh, could be gone. Right. What I'm just that, saying is this, is injury. who are those people? I mean, I think Brock Purdy is... That's a, isn't that the most extreme example? The last person in the draft who had some success. It's the only but, example you can point out because nobody that's drafted in the fourth or fifth round gets a shot like that. That's what Russell I'm saying. Wilson. Heck, Prescott was a fourth round pick. Exactly, and it Russell took Wilson. Romo getting <laughs> hurt. That, but those are all examples. I'm just saying, who's the that's, second round pick that got overlooked? That who's the f late first round pick? You can't you can't point them out because they never got the shot. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And, okay, and I, I I get what you're saying there, CK, and you're, what you're saying it, it, it's right. You're right. Some of them never get an opportunity, but the thing is, y'all are not wrong about saying that them going to the combine, the Senior Bowl, is going to do this. What I'm saying is that's stupid. I'm not saying it's not <clears> going to happen. It's stupid. Like Cody, you say that you want to put them in a position in the combine where they're you don't see them in college. You put them under center, senior bowl. and it's going it's to put our senior ball. Okay, or you're going to put them in the combine because it's going to give them situations. In Colts, to Coach, get them to Matt Rule, how they're going to do. Well, guess what? In the combine, you're playing uh, in shorts. There's no pass rush. There's no crowd. There's no pressure There's no, of the it's game. It's not even a game there, at the it's combine. It's not even a game. They're, they're telling you, this guy's going to run this route, drop back, throw it, let's see what you do. That's not a game situation. So The only thing going to the combine I'm not do, talking yeah, about the combine, though. No, I'm talking right. about He's right. He's not talking about the and combine. That, and that is an actual game. But do they even play the whole they senior will bowl? do some NFL No, concept. they don't play. Do they play it's the like an all-star game. They rotate in and out. And still, if you're a quarterback... 
and you've never played under center or you've never played against, you know, uh, uh you know, power five competition so like Jordan Love. Jor- Jordan Love, what Jordan Love was another guy coming from Utah that needed the senior bowl to continue to, to, what? to improve his to sit, uh, We've never even seen Jordan Love play a single fucking game in the NFL. So what did the senior bowl do for it, him? But, Shut up. He was Not, drafted the first three. round. Snaps it matters where – it matters where they're drafted. All right. This is what's wild about this is that when you want that argument to work, you make it. When you don't want it, you don't make it. And I'm not saying you guys, but I'm saying anybody is that someone who doesn't have a good performance at the senior bowl, you say, look at their tape. Someone at the combine, you say, look at their tape. And then when they have a really great combine or really about this, and you say they have bad tape, you say, don't be fooled by this. Right. So I don't know. Right. Is that so I don't know I- if my idea. Maybe Will Levis, if he just fucking slayed and uh, like at the senior bowl and then went to the combine and slayed, he goes from top 10 to top three. But But, like, um, I think he could like he didn't fall into the second round by not doing this. But I might be wrong. Maybe. You don't know Um, that? Hey, CK froze. Yeah, I'm froze for a second. Let me so um, I, I want I want I want to say one thing and I'll pass the mic. If okay, Matt Corral, everyone says, oh, he's a third round quarterback. How do he, he do in the senior bowl? No offense. No, but okay, he wasn't able to play because he was hurt. So oh. uh, what I'm trying to say is, imagine if Matt Corral was able to play in the senior bowl and had an incredible performance. That might help a, people a believe. Ifs. Okay. Guy can do more than just a play action pass RPO type stuff that he had one to drive, do with one drive, and we're like, Oh my god, he's so fucking Cody. So he goes, so Cody if, he, if he goes there, by the way, this goes... is common knowledge amongst NFL scouts. Everything that means, no, let's see saying, who. What, all right, I'll see what the stats knowledge. were. For and and the you know what? NFL scouts know. never get it wrong either, Cody. You're right, they they all they, they never get it, get it wrong. wrong. Here's my. <laughs> <definitely> <laughs> So here's here's what I wanted to say. If 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 this is in fact, here's my 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 counter to this. And I I don't want to have my counter just be a um if if this isn't true, then this has to be true, right? Um, but if if this is in fact a, a real a pointless endeavor, why does anybody accept the invite? Why do all 32 teams right bring their scouts why do all 32 teams show up right, to right. evaluate every one of these seniors at the senior bowl if it that's didn't good, matter that's a very good point two reasons if though. it didn't matter why are they showing up two can reasons. i read you the stats from last year's senior bowl yeah. go ahead um kenny pickett went six for six 89 yards and a touchdown one good drive right executed as he was supposed to desmond ritter same team next uh next quarterback in four for six 68 yards carson strong six for 11 on the other side the american team bailey zab went eight for 13 103 yards and interception sam howe went six for nine 67 malik willis went two for four and 11 yards <clears throat> how about this is malik willis still was what the second quarterback picked in this draft was that true was he maybe he was a third maybe uh Ritter went before him. I can't it remember. Pickett, yeah, Pickett, then Ritter, then Willis. Uh, what I'm saying is this: is the best person in that stock was Kenny Pickett. He went, he did the best you can do: six for six, eighty nine yards, and a touchdown. But like, does that really? I mean, he still was. He didn't propel him into the top. Hey, five. how about how, how about this? If you want, if you want to say, okay. and then I'm gonna let Greg go. The I think CK made a great game, point. Mm-hmm. If you want right, and if you want to say it's a meaningless game, how about Josh Allen, Kenny Pickett, Carson Wentz, Baker Mayfield, Mac Jones, Justin Herbert, <coughs> Jalen Hurts, Dems, Dak Prescott, Derek Carr, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Kirk Cousins all decided to play in the Super Bowl. I mean, that's how many of those same. motherfuckers the have you? How many of these people, the those guys, have you and railed you're, and on you this are lying to you And you are lying to yourself if okay. you feel like 
like that like, it didn't matter to all of those players because it did if you maybe patrick mahomes would have gone top five fine. if maybe he would have played in the senior I, bowl he might Cody, have. i, I, I want to juxtapose up a, a list on that the, the players you just said of all the quarterbacks that played in the senior bowl that haven't done shit in the nfl because i mean it's it's <laughs> going to be long. it's going to be much bigger i'm sure it's going to be much bigger. Right, but you right, also, I don't want to over argue about this. this. I, I want to answer CK's question, though. It was I got an answer for CK's question. To play. Yeah. All right, I got an answer for CK's it. question. He asked, why do all teams do this? There's three reasons right off the top of my head. One, tradition. Okay, think about this. The NFL originally, Money. we didn't have social media. We didn't have as much videotape as we could before. Scouts didn't get to see players like they did before. They've always ran the draft. It's part of tradition. It's what we do. Okay. And then the NFL. It's called the too. Reese's Bowl, too, by the way. Sponsor. I'll have a rebuttal to this, by the way. So this is okay, cool. Two money. Ahead. Money. Okay. Because they're going to make money by doing the by doing the combine because they brought they broadcast it on TV. Well, People we're talking about the senior bowl. Let's just stick with the senior bowl. The Reese's no, it's called you, the Reese's CKC. Senior Bowl. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. talking about the senior I mean, ball for it's, now. Yeah, it's I'm just literally yeah, I'm sponsored. This, this, this applies the it's, same way. This applies the same right. way. Right. No, there's three. You're, money looking, in this. you're looking for depth beyond the players you already know or, or, or you've already evaluated as first round players. Okay. That's another Ooh. reason you go there. It's not just to go look at the Will Levises and the CJ Strouds. You're going to go look at that tackle that's predicted a third round guy that's playing in the senior ball. And you might be able to. There's more to it than just the top players they're evaluating. Sure. That's what the combine's for, too. I don't think that either one of those is for the players that you know are the top 10 players in the draft or are great at the top 10 players in the draft. Those guys, no matter what they do, whatever the, the teams want, they're going to pick them. It's right. the guys beyond that that you're going there to, to scout. My, my Except for all the top 10 to picks that I just named. My, my rebuttal to that is these NFL draft or NFL scouts, GMs are all extremely busy, and I can promise you tradition – play zero role in their want to go fly out to the senior bowl to watch these guys. The other part to this is you're right that they, they are going to see that, but by your own admission, you said that if you can't evaluate, if you can't evaluate them based off the tape, you already see, then how can we trust you based on, you know, or whatever you had said about it, them going to look at these guys. Right. So by that same admission, then there's no saying point. that. Yeah, well, no, basically, I, I did it was say, I did say that, lines, but, you, but you don't pay as much attention to a first round quarterback as you do a guy graded a third round tackle, right? But you oh, also don't get, get your there's hands 500 on them people you, you in the world that. looking at quarterbacks professionally right. right now, and there's like one dude looking at linebackers out of the pack, whatever, like the Atlantic sure. Coastal Conference. Good point. Hey, yeah. let, let's read the super chat. And, yeah. then, and we and have then a new member we didn't shout out. out. We have a lot of housekeeping to do. <laughs> so look, we haven't done White Chocolate this. Espresso, your bastard son, he says, what's the difference between the senior bowl and a regular college bowl game? Skipping your team bowl game is way more of a red flag. By the way, Will Levis skipped out on both of them. Skipped out on his bowl game. And wow. skipped out on the senior. Wow. Why are you taking out on him? Yeah, because don't fucking do that. Defend okay. that. So, All right. so Chris here's McCaffrey. Can I? And before you move on, the other part Chris of that. McCaffrey left on his. Yeah, on his. Sure, uh, but I all, the the part of it that I, like for instance the no, Will I'm Levis, right? Back. You're you're trying to prove that you are a top. A, let's okay. be honest, right now, a top five quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, there's so many, and, and clearly he based on safe. the fact of these arguments. You're 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 going to see. I understand Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud not going right because mm -hmm. they've earned their spot as a top draft pick in the NFL. Okay, okay. who That's hasn't fair. earned their dra top argument. draft pick is Will Levis, and so you need if you want if you're if you're really confident in your abilities as a quarterback. You go play the senior bowl. You go play. You go to the, yes. the, the combine. Unless you're hurt, I, I, I and agree you're with trying that. to you shade that. your injury a little bit. So you're not making the narrative of being hurt. And you're just trying then to his people need to do a better bowl. job. Then his people need to do a better job <laughs> of saying how hurt he is. Because as of right now, the common knowledge is that he's still sometimes hurt. saying less. Uh, apparently, he is he is still training for okay. all this other shit, but he's not going to do any of this other stuff. We'll see so, how it pans yeah, out. I, I'm, a, I'm allowed. I'm allowed to think less of him for these decisions. Okay. Uh, my son says Levis is a guaranteed top 10 pick. And do you by any chance have our member from way early in the show who was starred? Can we give them a shout out? And we got to push through some calls. CK, you're up. Well, well, well. We missed you, but we came around and we found you. Tyler has said, 
I want to join the C3 Super Fan Club. You hit that join button that you can find right below the screen here, and you can join for only $1.99, I think is what we have it set for right now. And you get all these incredible emojis, and Tyler has become one of the legends. Thank you, and welcome to the club. Welcome to 20C3. This is our year. We started out with an argument. This is the end of the 2022 uh, season for us, though. Our official season next season starts the week after the Super Bowl, and you can be a part of it. The longest running Panthers podcast out there. Let's do another call, and then we got to get to some prize picks, and we got to power through some information, folks. Stop Tony from arguing. That's what you all have to do. It's your mission in life. (laughs) 